Hi, at this very moment, we are going to discuss about the difference between descriptive study versus the normative study in ethics. First, let's define what is descriptive study. Descriptive study or comparative ethics is the study of people's views about moral beliefs. In other words, it analyzes what do people think is right. Thus, the study of descriptive ethics involves describing people's moral values and standards as well as their behavior. This study, as its name implies, describes the behavior of people and what moral standards they follow. In contrast, descriptive ethics is concerned with what is morally right and wrong. It also analyzes the differences and similarities between the moral practices of different societies and evaluate the development of the standards behind these practices. The category of descriptive ethics is the easiest to understand. It simply involves describing how people behave and or what sorts of moral standards they claim to follow. This incorporates research from the fields of anthropology, psychology, sociology, and history as part of this process of understanding what people do or have believed about moral norms. So an example of descriptive study is, in one study, Colbridge questioned a group of boys about what would be a right or wrong action for a man facing a moral dilemma, which is Heinz's dilemma, should he steal a drug to save his wife or refrain from theft, even though that would lead to his wife's death. Heinz's wife was dying from a particular type of cancer. Doctors said a new drug might save her. The drug had been discovered by a local chemist, and Heinz tried desperately to buy some. But the chemist was charging 10 times the money it cost to make the truck, and this was much more than Heinz could afford. Now to solve this Heinz dilemma. The thinker has three options. First, Heinz should not steal the drug because it is the disobedience of the law. Second, Heinz can steal the drug but should be punished by the law. And third, Heinz can steal the drug and no law should punish him. So in conclusion to what happened, Heinz had even offered to pay for it and was not stealing anything else. Heinz should steal the medicine because he will be much happier if he saves his wife, even if he will have to serve a prison sentence. The Heinz Dilemma is a thought exercise that is used to study ethics and morality scenarios. In psychology, it is used in Colbridge stages of moral development. Colbridge would present this dilemma to people and then ask questions to determine their stage of moral development. Another example is a lawyer with integrity was having a hard time to decide whether he will defend his brother who is a murderer or help the family of the victim to obtain the justice even though it will lead his brother into prison. These examples shows that their decisions and actions depend on what other people think what is right or wrong. Now let's proceed to normative study. Normative ethics is the study of ethical action. In simple words, it analyzes how people ought to act in terms of morality. It is also concerned with the criteria of what is morally right and wrong. The category of normative ethics involves creating or evaluating moral standards. Thus, it is an attempt to figure out what people should do or whether their current moral behavior is reasonable. In normative ethics, a conclusion is drawn from the observation made above, namely that some action is wrong in one society and is right in another. This is a normative claim because it goes beyond simply observing what this action is treated as wrong in one place and treated as right in another. So these are examples of normative study. First, we should fight to free slaves when necessary, even when doing so is illegal. Second, 
It is reasonable for a person to give charity to those in need, even if no reciprocation should be expected. These claims shows that one can be morally right to another and one can go wrong to another. Normative ethics is about intrinsic value, right and wrong, and or virtues. Normative study is about what actually has overriding importance for determining how we ought to act. Even if you want a million dollars, you ought not to kill innocent people in order to get a million dollars in return. So therefore, the main difference between normative study and descriptive study is that normative study analyzes how people ought to act whereas descriptive study analyzes what people think is right or wrong. So that's all for this topic. Thanks for watching.